Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and thank you for coming back to my channel. And I have something exciting today. I'm so tickled. I am going to show you my first journal that I have done with the designs from Tsunami Rose Designs. Yep, I'm on the design team. I can't tell you how excited I am about it. I've never done anything like this. Wasn't sure if I could pull it off. Kind of busy. However, I have found it to be very therapeutic. Um, this journal, I have to say, is not as junky as many of them I have done in the past because I'm focused on Daisy's designs that she's created and I guess I just didn't want to junk up my first journal <laughs> using all of the pretty things that I got from her. So let's get started and let's show you what I've done. Of course I've added one of my leather book plates. Um, I do sell those in my Etsy shop. Da -ding, da -ding, that was a commercial. Um, but here it is. I had some um, pink cording. Is that straight? Uh, I guess it's all crooked. It's all crooked together though. Isn't that funny? Um, didn't notice it till then. But anyhow, this fabric that I'm using is actually an upholstery sample. Yep, it's a fabric sample, and I have tons of them. Um, I'm going to, in the future, getting a little sidetracked here, but in the future, I'm going to go through, I have a big cube unit that I've got my fabric samples in. I'm going to be cleaning them out um, to give some away to it up at an upcoming retreat that I'm doing um, but um, it, it's it's I need to do it rumor has it that the design team where I used to work is going to be cleaning up again so they'll have plenty of more stuff for me so I need to get ready for it and everything but anyhow let's get on with this journal I know Daisy's saying okay Elaine come on all right so when you open it up I had two pieces of the upholstery fabric from the cover um, well, actually, one big piece left. So what I did is I took it and cut it in half and made these belly bands inside the covers. And I did this because, let me pull these out. Um, I used just another piece of upholstery fabric that had a little bit of shimmer to it, about the same neutral color that was on here on the cover, um, but I knew that it was just boring without it. So then I saw this strip and I said, ta-da! Anyhow, so I did a little belly band. Here's a little note, personal note. And then this is um, one of Daisy's um, journaling cards. And I, I just did coffee stained paper on the back. Um, and everything that I use of Daisy's in here, I'm going to um, put it down below and tell you how to find her, okay? Um, this is one thing I like to do um, is notepads and I do my notepad so that you can untie this ribbon and replace the paper but the paper is also perforated I have I can't tell you how many little tools and and um, cutters that do perforations and stuff and yes you can use your sewing machine but um, I do that I love little notepads. It's a good way to use up this kind of paper, scrap paper. And so, like, this was an old day planner I had. And then just I have some colored sheets. So there's just all kinds of just miscellaneous paper in here that, like I said, I come in strips. Now, one day, well, if you followed me on Instagram, you may have seen my blue fingers. That was an accident. But then it led me to do pink and yellow also. I take old paint that is getting clumpy and I put it in boiling water or put boiling water in with the paint to get the clumps out and then I dye paper that way. Now you can't layer your paper when you've done it with paint. It all sticks together. So you've got to have a place to um, to lay it out. And if you watch my um, what's on my crafty table videos, you'll see a video um, where I laid out. This is just the stencil I have where I do um, I, I put lines on things and, and this is one of Daisy's designs and just some little coffee stained paper I had left over and most of her papers what I did is I 
printed them on both sides. I think that's a nice touch to continue on. Um, that one I just stenciled. Another one of Daisy's designs in just a little tuck spot. And this is um, a Tim Holtz. It embosses and dyes. And I had it, had never used it. And I had some of the yellow paper left over, some scraps. And I thought, well, let me try it. And it's pretty cute. It's a good little place to write. Here's a couple more little things. Another journaling card. This is one of Daisy's full pages. But when I went to print, I did it so two came up on a page. So I was able to cut it in half. And I think it came out to be, I was going to say two five by sevens. But that wouldn't be right on the paper. Or yes, it would because five, yeah. So this was two five by sevens, and um, and you'll see the other one in here too. And so I just made a little pocket out of it, and there's a little library card. Again, like I said, I didn't do a whole lot of miscellaneous junk in here because um, I was trying to focus on Daisy's um designs, and you can see they're beautiful. There's some of the actually it's more purpley, but that was supposed to be pink, and this one is also. This is one of the ones that I um, put it up on two pages and then I actually cut it, excuse me, two pages up on one sheet and then I actually cut it in half to make this little pocket. And these are both, that's a daisy tag and then another um, little journaling card. This little um, embroidered daisy is actually ribbon and it comes, you know, long and uh, you can't tell when you cut it apart. Um, that's a little template that I have to draw lines and here's the center and I've just done a couple of butterflies kind of to stay with the butterfly theme and all of her papers um, I, I like showing them as my center I, they're so pretty and everything so here's the other side of that here's another journaling card <clears throat> and I, I didn't use two of any single print there's another a little tuck again this was two of her pages up on one piece of paper and that was just a strip I had and believe it or not I had this ribbon and again if you follow me I'm a big you a, a big advocate of using what you have and don't get me wrong I do spend but um that piece was exactly the size I needed and so I just made it a little bit longer so then it could be um, a little tab at the top here trying to make sure I stay in frame and then um, Daisy also has um, some mini file folders. Now aren't they just beautiful? So I did um, coffee stained paper inside and just tuck that in here. This little leather piece is actually the center of the book plate. I punched these myself and, um, and then just a little flower that I have and then again I stenciled this whole page and this is a piece of a little snippet ruffle thing and um, Somebody gave that along the way, um, one of the retreats that I have attended or, or have done. And so some more daisy paper, and that's the other half of my yellow. Now you're going to notice that all of my signatures, I wrapped them in yellow paper. Kind of just to keep it a little bit consistent, showing the beginning and the ending to uh, um, each signature. This happens to actually be um, a divider that had a little tab on it. So this was not paper that I did, but I stenciled it up. Some more daisy designs. Here we go. And then this is just something that I did a long time ago. It's a book page. And then I added some scraps to it and a little paper ruffle. And then this was some scrapbooking paper. Just to kind of make a little journaling card and left the thread hanging out there. And I thought that's a little tuck, um, a good little place to tuck it. This paper, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I went to... I don't know if you can hear the rain on my tin roof or not. It's a little distracting. <laughs> but um, this paper was, um, I'd done the two-sided of Daisy's designs. But instead of flipping it on the short side, I flipped it on the long side. So when I had it, the butterflies on the other side were upside down. So I just decided to cut off her pretty. And then that's what I, um, I just went ahead and made a little tuck spot with that little pretty. Here's another one of her journaling cards, some more of her beautiful paper. Look at that. It's like a ledger, and then she's done a design on it. Um, this is one of her library cards, and it is pretty much black and white design 
which I thought would be pretty if you like to watercolor and stuff. You could touch it up yourself. But under it, I did um, a little place to write and then just another little piece of paper and a little embellishment up there. Just some dyes that I had had, trying to use up what I had. <clears throat> this is the other half to the grid paper that I showed you that I'm probably not going to be able to put my hands on now just because I want to right there. <laughs> that was the other half of that. And then I just had this little notepad that I had cut. And um, so some more. And so here we are with some more butterflies in the middle and her design in the middle. And then again, this was a place where I did two up on the same page, some more, a little tag, and I did a ribbon. And I added the ribbon with uh, Tim Holtz, the little tiny attacher stapler. <clears throat> that way it kind of keeps off the bulk from tying. Now this is... I can explain this. This is upholstery fabric, but kind of indoor outdoor type. So it's a little slicky, but it's also paper backed. So I like fabric, and you're going to see here shortly how I do, you know, another place that I've done it in here. But this had paper on the back of it because these stems are so fragile, they don't always punch very well. Um, but I thought they were adorable in this book since I've done a lot of you know the pink with the yellow and then I just added some stickles which we all know stickles can be a pain because they take a long time to dry so this is one of those things that you need to do and then put it to the side so you don't touch it and it looks like oh, I just knocked one of them off look at me so now I'm gonna have to glue that back on I guess isn't that ridiculous I guess it doesn't want to stick to that cloth <laughs> leave it to me I will show you the good the bad and the ugly though that's the truth but here's another set of flowers that I did. Um, the pink is just regular thin cotton material, but the, all the other material is upholstery fabrics. And then I just had some leftover beads of different sizes, and I used those for the centers. I mean, I really, I would like using upholstery fabric, um, or scrap fabric, I should say, and, and punch it into, uh, to make these designs. I love it. And then there's just another old die cut that I had from 100 years ago and put it on here and did a little more stenciling. And then I went to pull a piece of uh, music paper off of my scrap table. And when I did, I just tore it. So I said, okay, I'll live with that. And it, it tore right at the end. I guess that's the end of the song. The song of the Katie. Oh, that might be something else on the end of there. Like maybe the song of the Katie did or something. Oh, Lordy. Anyway, so then I just cut off the edge. And then, of course, I've got a couple of um, tags in there from Tsunami Rose Designs. And I always do something on the back so it's just not the white paper. <laughs> and because I just have an inkjet, I can't dip my um, paper into coffee. And here's another little notepad. Just miscellaneous papers again. And this was a, a piece off of a card, so I just made my own little belly band. And then um, this fuzzy. And just left a little bit hang off. And this is um, a little card that somebody had given me, just a little place to tuck things away. And um, so I put that in there. And these are some more of Daisy's papers. This was just a stencil that I did and added. I have these oval doilies. And um, some of them are huge. But this is, I think, the medium size one. So I just decided to try and embellish that a little bit. Some more of the designs. And then this is just a little writing page that I printed. And this was another cloth ruffle that someone had given to me. So some more of Daisy's designs. And then another stencil on some paper. This is out of a coloring book. Now this is the one place here in the back that I did not use a um, Tsunami Rose um, design in the middle. I thought this would be a nice place for someone to doodle and color and everything. Um, here's some more. And then that's the other half of the paper that I did just with the lines on it. And here's the other half of her graph paper. So here we go. Another design, uh, just a stencil. Some more of her designs. And then that's it. And then again in the back, the belly band and another journaling card. And ta-da! And what I used as my um, base of my journal was a fiddle-faddle box. 
and uh, I'll show you one day how I build my boxes not everybody does it that way um, I did show it in a Facebook group and um, you know I got a lot of positive feedback and I know I need to do a video of it one day but that's me and so if you have any questions or whatever please um, reach out and let me know and as I have said before I do have a Facebook group and I'm on Instagram and Twitter and um, you know of course my own private Facebook if you kind of like to see what I'm up to today or any day <laughs> I'm also on Pinterest and of course here on YouTube I would appreciate it I try to put out a video every Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock Eastern time and uh, I guess that's everything so I do appreciate it and please don't forget to subscribe and you know like my channel if you would I'd appreciate it and please stay safe and I will see you down the road. Bye.